What is going on guys? Today I am back today with another Pokemon Auras OU Wi-Fi battle. For those of you that celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. It is actually uh, the day before Thanksgiving while I'm recording this, but this is a battle I had against Petra Weesum. Petra Weesum. Petra Awesome, or Petros as most of you guys know him. Um, and whenever I battle Petra, we always have some very, very amazing battles. And this battle was by far one of the best battles that I've ever ever had against Petra. It was very, very close. Uh, and I don't, I don't really want to spoil anything, but it was very, very good. Uh, it's actually very long. It's about 64 turns long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed the whole thing up and you guys can watch for yourselves. I'll put some nice background music in the background or whatever. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be, uh, you know, something of a different narration. I'm not going to be explaining a whole lot of things. Just know that there are some very, very high level plays that go on uh, throughout this battle. I think this is this is probably the most, the, the highest level, I, guess, I say level as, um, is like competitive wise. This There is some very high level stuff going on. You guys may not comprehend everything that happens in this battle, but there's a lot of predictions, a lot of mind games that go on, you know, kind of under the scenes. So I want you guys to watch this. So like I said, I am going to speed it up. Not too fast so you don't miss what's going on, but I am going to speed it up. And just really, you know, pay attention to the battle and watch what I do. And watch what happens because generally when I battle Petra, I, I lose pretty, pretty poorly. And when I do beat him, it's not by very much. But I, I just want you guys to watch what happens in this battle. And I hope you guys enjoy. I know it's a little bit different, so you guys may not like it as much. But, you know, just deal with me on this one. I think you guys are going to end up enjoying this video very, very much. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to shut up and just, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about this battle. Thank you. 
And that is the end of the battle, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Um, like I said, there's very, very high-level stuff going on. A lot of stalling and, and that sort of thing. But, it, you know, at the same time, uh, even even when I knew like I knew what to do, go for Discharge when he's at this amount of health, or go for Heat Wave when he's at this amount of health, um, it's still a very, very difficult position to be in unless you know how the other opponent plays. Um... In my opinion, from what I saw, especially up um, in the turns where I was, it was Zapdos versus Salamence. Uh, when I was down to just my little punny and my Greninja, uh, I went for Fake Out when he had about 20% left, and I took him down to 10%. And when that happened, I knew that he was going to roost uh, instead of going for uh, the the return, which is what he should have done. That would have been the best play because he would have won from there. He just would have flat out one from there uh, but judging from the way he was playing I guess he wanted I don't know I just could tell that he wanted as much HP on his elements as possible and that's that's kind of a downfall him and I don't know if it was because I've kind of, I don't know if he thought I was trying to play like a mind game with him with the Zapdos and trying to keep his elements at as much HP as possible and that kind of made him think oh I need to roost here um, but when he roosted he was obviously faster than me because he was at plus two speed and plus two attack so he roosted. When you roost, you lose your flying type. So that's why I decided to go for a high jump kick, which then allowed me to switch out my low punny, uh, take the return on my Greninja, switch my low punny back in, hit him with a fake out and knock him out. Now, had my fake out not killed him, uh, it would have been over. Had he um, predicted my Greninja to come in and he went for um, roost instead, I would have lost. So there were... It's, it's very, very mind game. Uh, like, I, for most of you, that probably looked like a lot of stall. Looked like there wasn't really too much happening. But there were so, so many mind games being played by not only me, but Petra as well. We were both... I don't know. It's, it's like you're on a whole different level when you're in a situation like that. I don't think I've ever had a battle um, as crazy as that. I think that's probably, honestly, the best battle I've ever had. Now, obviously... Uh, it may not look like it. Obviously, I didn't like 5 or 6-0 Petra, so you're, how, can, how can you be saying, how is that your best battle you've ever had? I know you 5 would and 6 would plenty of other people. Um, how, why is this 1-0, this barely a 1-0 against Petra, such a good battle to you? And the reason being is, uh, in my opinion, Petra's a very, very good battler. And I say this a lot on stream. I say that, I, I say that Petra is almost Pokemon level. Petra is, he's such a good battler. And not only is he good at battling, he's also good at team building. And I think uh, the reason is being is because he watches Joey a lot. He he not only likes to copy Joey's teams, but he likes to kind of make them his own as well. So he'll take one of Joey's teams, maybe change up a couple EVs, change out a couple mods, and make make that team his own. And that's what's really great about Petra is because not only does he use one of the best, if not the best, uh, smog on battlers around. Uh, not only does he he use Pokemon's teams. He makes them his own and makes them work. He makes them even better than what you know what they currently are, and that's why whenever I battle Petra, if I if I'm doing bets on stream, I say bet for Petra because Petra's gonna beat me. Um, Petra is just that good of a battler. And now you're probably saying, well, why are you fanboying over? Petra? I'm not. If you've ever had the chance to battle Petra, um, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say, uh, a lot of my close friends say that Petra's not that not that hard to beat. So I don't know if it's just my play style against Petra, if it's Petra's play style against me. I don't know what it is. But in my opinion, Petra's a very, very good battler. Most of the time, I get 
five, four, five, six owed by Petra. So, um, you know, it's it's very, I don't know, it's just one of those things. I can't explain it, but it's, I, I feel like after this battle, I'm on a whole different level of playing. Uh, it's definitely, in my opinion, the best battle that I've had to date. And all my, you know, experiences of battling, um, not only in X and Y, but in Gen 5, Gen 4, and all, all that. You know what I mean? It's, I just feel like I'm an... A better battler after especially after this battle because it was such a such a close game so many mind games going on and like i said mostly not most of you there are probably some of you that don't understand what i'm saying by mind games but if you if you really paid attention you really watched this battle to the end um you'll understand and you know i hope that you guys understand because it's, it's, it's so hard to explain in words what all was happening but it was like i don't know it's like like me and petra were battling with our minds and it's just it's it's crazy it's i <laughs> like i said i'm just sitting here like eh, 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 because it was that that overwhelming of a battle but i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a little bit different than what i normally do uh but i thought it would be something great for thanksgiving you know uh it's something a little bit different and it's like i said it's probably one of the best battles that i've ever had uh right now uh you guys can expect to see a video of mega altaria i've been trying to make mega altaria work uh, it's a very cool pokemon in my opinion it's just it's hard to get it to work because I want to. I'm trying to up the usage of the Mega that I use in the battle so that you guys see more of the Mega and see what more, like, see what the Mega can do. And it's, some of the Megas this gen are kind of hard to do, especially with the counters and checks that people are running to them. So that's why it's a little bit harder for you guys to see what's going on. But I think today you guys really, really saw some of the potential of Mega Little Punny and what it can do. Uh, and what what me and Petra can do is, uh, as battlers as well. But I'm going to stop talking. I know this battle has already been long enough. I sped it up so that this battle is probably under 10 minutes uh, or around 10 minutes so that's not too long so that you guys don't like get absolutely bored. But uh, I'll put some funky music in there that you guys hopefully enjoyed. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this battle. Let me... You know, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. I know it's different, so there'll probably be more dislikes on this video than likes. But hey, you can't blame a guy for trying to show you guys something cool. But anyways, oh, and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. We will see you back again tomorrow. And I will be streaming again tomorrow as well uh, and today. So make sure that you guys watch it. Be there. Be square. <laughs> Peace out, guys.